Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 23. Today we're going to be looking at homogeneous matrices in 4D and how translations play into that. So 4D has another component in addition to the standard X, Y, Z components, W, and that's called the homogeneous coordinate. And note that it doesn't stand for time. Uh, let's give a 2D homogeneous example. So we have a 2D plane which exists in 3D, and the plane is at a W of 1, so we have x, y, w in this case, and it's x, y, 1. Every point that's not in the plane of 1, w equals 1, we can compute, compute into that by projecting a point onto the plane and then dividing by w. So any homogeneous coordinate x, y, w is mapped to the 2D point x over w, y over w. So it could be some other area or some other uh, w value, and we can uh, project onto that plane where w equals 1. So moving on with this example, if we have a given 2D point x, y, there are infinite points in the homogeneous space in the form of kx, ky, k, given k is not equal to 0, because we cannot divide by 0. So if we're going to go into 3D, we're going to have the same rules. We have x, y, z, w, and it's going to map onto a 3D point, x over w, y over w, z over w. And when w is equal to 0, the 4D point represents a point at infinity. So why do we want to use homogeneous 4D space at all? Uh, recall that when we have 3 by 3, we can't uh, have translations. And this due to the fact that multiplication against a 0 vector uh, so then they couldn't end up translating. But 4x4 allows us to do this. So let's have an example. Assume that w equals 1, and we have this matrix right here, and we're going to now have it in a 4x4. So the top left portion is the regular values, and then the w is just 1. And a standard 3x3 multiplying by a vector, you'd have the x, y, z. You're going to have this nice little simple equation right here. And if we translate that into uh, 4 by 4 with uh, w equals 1, you'll have the exact same values, but this extra value at the end with 1 still. And if we have a 4D matrix for translation, so we'll have 1, 1, 1, basically the identity, and then in the last row we'll have a delta x, delta y, delta z, you'll see that the new uh, vector prime here is x plus delta x, y plus delta y, z plus delta z, and 1. And note that multiplication matrix is still a linear transformation, so we can't represent translation in 4D. And a 4D vector, zero vector still transforms into a 4D zero vector. The trick works because we're going to be translating points in 3D and we're shearing this 4D space. We're getting rid of the extra 4D space. So look at the previous episode on shearing if you don't uh, remember that and you can compare the formulas at that point. So let's have an example here. We have a rotation matrix. And this is the uh, regular matrix that we just saw with the M11, M12, M13, etc., down to M33, and then a W of 0 at the bottom, and a translation matrix here uh, represented by an identity matrix with the last row, though, being the deltas. So our transformation example, we're going to have V prime is equal to VRT. Recall order is important and we're using row vectors, so matrix multiplication is happening from left to right. So we're going to rotate first, then translate, and we can con concatenate into a single matrix, just like 3 by 3 matrices. So if we have a matrix M equals RT, then the formula above V prime equals VRT, we can replace the RT with M, so VM. So let's have this example here. So if we're going to compute what RT looks like, uh, or the matrix M is equal to RT, we have this formula up here, and here's the final formula where basically the top left portion is that rotation, the bottom row is the translation, and then everything on the far right side is 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's basically, uh, and then the right column is, yeah, 0, 0, 0, 1. Uh, and then we can convert this 4 by 4 matrix into a separate linear transformation and translate transformation and translation. So this is a very shorthand way to put this, where we have the rotation at the top, the translation on the bottom, and then 0, 1, just to kind of represent what that matrix looks like. What happens when the w is 0 So in the vector? So x, y, z is 0. And then you can see we have the same formula from before. Uh, ends up being a transformation that doesn't have a translation. 
very simple. Uh, what happens when there is a translation involved in the matrix, but the w is still 0? We get the exact same result. So what does that mean for w? It means w is basically a way to turn on and off a translation portion of a 4x4 four four matrix. So homogeneous space is great because this is going to allow us to go ahead and use uh, translations with uh, linear transformations all together in a single, single matrix. That's it for this episode. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and give me a like. Go to programmingtil.com, sign up for my newsletter, and share this on social media if you will. Thanks. Have a great one.